Now we're going to get into some Oakland Raiders sleepers for this upcoming season. And before, what is a sleeper? It's a guy who you should just keep an eye on. Maybe he's, you know, not too high in the headlines and he's just going to show up and he's going to be a big key part for the Raiders this season. The first guy I got coming up for you on the board, Fadel Brown, defensive end. And this is a guy that you need to pay attention to. The second year defensive end has had an active offseason on the field and especially in Tuesday's practice. And while he didn't see a ton of and we didn't see a ton of the Ole Miss product in 2017. He's a doubt and an intriguing process to watch going forward. First things first, dude looks like a legit NFL defensive end. He's six foot four and weighs 280 pounds. That said, Tuesday he showed the ability to get after the quarterback, and if he can do that consistently over the next few months, well, watch out. Now, I just want to bring up his stats that he's had at Ole Miss because, like I said, unfortunately he didn't play last year in 2017, but, I mean, you can see there the guy can get after the quarterback. He's got a few sacks, tackles, but he tackles for a loss. I think that's really key for the Raiders this upcoming season. Next Raider sleeper I got for you guys coming up on the board, Brandon Parker, offensive tackle. The Raiders selected Colt Miller out of UCLA in the first round of the draft, which is why people are sleeping on the other lineman they took pretty early in the draft, Brandon Parker. He was selected 65th overall after playing four years at North Carolina AT&T. He started all 48 games and was a three-time FCS All-American at left tackle. And from 2015 to 17, he was named the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Offensive Alignment of the Year. And that's some just college accomplishments. Like, never a lot of sack, only four penalties, played in 35 straight games, and MEAC Offensive Lineman of the Year for three straight seasons. I mean... I played D3 college baseball, and I'm not even close to that. So my hat's off to you, my man. All right, next sleeper I got for me, guys, Arden Key. This guy is legit. Like, this guy's an absolute monster. And I think it's a reason why you shouldn't sleep on him because, yeah, he might be boom or bust, but this dude can play. So Victor 4 compared Key to a young Alden Smith earlier this week. This comparison was solely based on talent. He set a school single season record with 12 sacks as a sophomore in 2016 and had 21 sacks in 31 career games for the Tigers in his three-year career. The Raiders, even with the presence of Khalil Mack and Bruce Irvin, they need help getting after the quarterback. And now you guys can check out Arden Key's amazing stats that he's got because, dude, I'm telling you right now, this guy can absolutely ball, and if he can get on the field for the Oakland Raiders, he's going to be a stud. I mean, you can see that 2016 year alone, 55 tackles, 12 point for a loss, and 12 sacks. Like, that's bananas. That's absolutely insane. And uh, But, guys, I got a little weigh-in for you. I want to know how many sacks is Arden Key going to have in 2018. We can go really high. If you guys think it's going to be six, seven, eight, whatever, throw it in there. Throw it in the comments. People at YouTube, how many sacks is Arden Key going to have in 2018? The next guy I got coming up for you that you shouldn't sleep on is Obi Melafuanu. So, during the 2017 NFL Draft, the Raiders spent their second round pick on UConn safety Obi. The 6'4 native of London, England, was invited to the Senior Bowl after a stellar career with the Huskies. And it was there where he finally raised his stock. Running a 4.4 40-yard dash at his size, he was viewed as many as a second round pick. And it appeared the Raiders got a steal at pick 56. He was placed on injured reserve, though, in September. And his eight, but was able to return in November. However, his hip injury forced him back on the IR in December. He racked up seven tackles in his rookie season, and now that he's finally healthy, he could have a pretty stellar season. Now, I just want to show you guys, though, how much of an absolute athletic freak this guy is. At 40-yard dash at 4.40 seconds, could definitely beat me in a foot race, that's for sure. Bench press, 17 reps, you got me there. Vertical at 44, that's probably double what I can do. And a broad jump at 41, that might be triple what I can do. So, Obi's an athletic freak, and uh, he's definitely a guy you guys should watch out for. Last sleeper I got coming up for you guys on the board, Garyon Conley, cornerback. So, it's difficult to have much more of a disappointing rookie season than Conley had in 2017. The former first-round pick barely played as a rookie, and when he did, he didn't impress. The reasons for his struggles, though, I think were more due to injury, not to skill. He's been looking to improve the Raiders, and he's trying to prove to the Raiders that they made the right choice when they drafted him last year. So don't sleep on Conley in 2018. Guys, I just want to show you some of his numbers from Ohio State. I mean, we know Ohio State's loaded with talent every single year, and Conley was one of the guys that stuck out. The year that really sticks out to me, though, is 2016. Four interceptions, eight pass breakups. Teams didn't test him, and it's for good reason because this guy can play. That's for sure. Those are my five sleepers. Raider Nation, thank you so much for tuning in to the Raiders Report. My name is Mitchell Rents. Please follow me on Twitter, at MitchellRents365. And until next time, go Raiders.